Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're covering update 3.2.0. This update was a smaller one, but the devs have just come back from vacation, so expect a bigger update in the future. Anyways, let's go on to the video. Alright, so the first feature is a new car sorting system. This will sort your cars by rarity, level, trophies, car parts, and alphabetically. And you can do this um, by pressing this button, which will take you all the way up the list and all the way down the list. And this is actually really great way to actually um, navigate through the menu. It's still a bit hard if you want to get to the rare cards which is in the middle but for most players it'll be a lot easier now. And yeah this feature does not work for helmets or maps yet but I'm pretty sure in the future they're going to add this to maps. For now all you can do is actually move all the way up to legendaries. Most of the time helmets are cosmetic but for maps I would definitely want this feature. And of course I'd be fine with having a helmet sword just that in my opinion I don't have any use for it most of the time because usually I use my legendary helmets but it would still be a good feature to add. Anyways, moving on, there's been one new car ability added, at least one that I've found out so far. Um, yeah, it's for the missile launcher, and basically it has a missile that tracks your opponents. I give this ability a solid A tier. It's not that OP because the homing isn't that powerful, like it's not that accurate. But yeah, this ability can knock back opponents, it can also explode, and it can respawn. So yeah, that's that's a solid A tier. Like possibly S tier, but yeah, again, knockback isn't that strong, and explosion isn't really that useful. Alright, on to the next feature, Chinese Junior Maps have a new cool background effect. I like the fireworks a lot, that looks really awesome. And the fireworks have also been fixed, they were um, kind of slanted before, I don't know why, but yeah, it's been fixed now. Speaking of Chinese Junior, there's going to be a new Chinese Junior boss, and this is called the Gigantic Metal Ox, and it bears a similarity to the Utter Chaos boss. I like the design a lot, it looks really good. All we know about this is that it's going to come out in the first week of February. So yeah, watch out for that, it's going to be so awesome. It's going to be in the boss mode. I'm not really sure if it's going to be a Rift Rider event. It might be some kind of boss hunt event. If you guys don't know what boss hunt is, it's like a, um, a old game mode. I'll show some gameplay of it. But yeah, it's, um, it's like that. And you basically have to hit the boss. Um, I'm pretty sure it's been like that, but I'm not 100% sure. It could just be Rift Riders. Also, a new Battle Arena theme with this new Chinese Year theme, which I think is going to be really awesome. And the Sudden Death is actually going to be this boss. Oh, and also part of the reward for the events, um, they're going to be Chinese Year cars exclusive ones, including the Dragon Monster. And for the last feature, there's a new helmet. It's called a CRT helmet. You had to pay $1.99 for it, but it removes ads permanently. And you get a legendary helmet. People who already made an in-game purchase should already have this helmet, so if you already bought something in the game, you already have this helmet. I haven't spent any money on the game, so my friend Cosmic is going to help me out here. I want to thank her for this gameplay because, yeah, I don't have this helmet, so yeah, thank you. Alright, so this helmet is definitely deserving of legendary. First of all, it has a cool effect, and it has a kawaii trail, so yeah, definitely worth it. But yeah, anyways guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Hopefully you guys like this video. Hopefully you guys like this update. Come back in February where I try out the new boss. See you guys later. Bye.